Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Welcome to the Black Money Minute. I'm going to tell you how UPS was actually created by a teenager with a bicycle. This is going to blow your mind, but I want you to understand this as you think about what it takes for you to build your business and for you to build for the next generation. So according to uh, Britannica, uh, UPS, United Parcel Service, an American package and document delivery company operates worldwide. Its dark brown trucks have become a familiar sight on the streets of many cities. Its corporate headquarters are in Sandy Springs, Georgia. UPS traces its history to 1907 when American Messaging Company was started in Seattle by 19-year-old James E. Casey and another teenager, Claude Ryan. Using a $100 startup cost for their initial capital, they set up shop in a cellar beneath Ryan's uncle's tavern. Their first employees ran errands and made deliveries on foot or by bicycle. A second office opened in 1912. The following year, the company merged with a competitor and acquired its first delivery truck, a converted Model T Ford. At this time, the founders decided to concentrate on delivery of packages from stores and therefore changed the company name to Merchants Parcel Service Delivery. In 1916, Charles Soderstrom was hired and it was his idea to paint the company's vehicles dark brown, a color that tends to camouflage grime. Ryan left the company in 1917. Two years later, Casey began expanding the business outside Seattle, opening operations in Oakland, California, where the first company used the, the name UPS, or United Parcel Service. And later, they opened another one in Los Angeles in 1922. In 1925, the entire company became known as United Parcel Service, and by the end of the decade, UPS was operating all over the West Coast. In 1930, the United Parcel Service moves its headquarters to New York City. It steadily expanded thereafter. By the 1950s, however, the company faced a challenge. The need for store delivery was decreasing because customers were increasingly using their own cars to carry their purchases home. The company responded in 1953 by be beginning the territorial expansion of its common carrier service, which it had offered in Southern California since the 1920s. In accepting packages from the general public, UPS put itself in competition with the parcel post service of the U.S. Post Office, now known as the U.S. Postal Service. Not until 1975 did UPS clear away regulatory barriers to operation in all 48 contiguous states. In the same year, corporate headquarters were moved to Greenwich, Connecticut, and the company became international by expanding to Canada. Over the next four decades, UPS continued to increase its global presence, eventually offering services in more than 200 countries and territories.